What are your thoughts about the U.N.? How many times has the U.N. Uh, General Assembly passed resolutions condemning Israel? Approximately. Uh, in the year 2022, there were 15 resolutions uh, on Israel. Uh, there was one on Iran, one on Syria, one on North Korea, and 15 on Israel. There have been hundreds over. Hundreds. Year, yeah. Hundreds, hundreds yeah. And, and every year, probably at least double digits, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And how many uh, against the Palestinian Authority? The Palestinian Authority is never condemned. At never? The nations. No. Well, that the UN is anti Israel, and I would add to that anti Semitic. Well, that's pretty obvious. But. Let's like dig a little deeper into this. The Jewish people, we pray towards Jerusalem, no matter where we are, because the spiritual focus of our lives is towards God Almighty. And God Almighty infuses the world with life through Jerusalem, through the Holy Land. And from there, it diffuses into the rest of our lives into the rest of the world. So hence, Israel is the focal point, not only of our prayers, but of life itself. The corruption of that idea is, let's fight against the source of life, which is God. Let's fight against the source of the life that is brought into this world through the land of Israel, the holy land, God's holy land, and let's fight against that. As everything in this world, there has to be an equilibrium between right and left, up and down, black and white, good and evil. So the holy land and its holiness, Israel, has to have the equivalent on the other side that will counterbalance it and create an equilibrium of choice in this world. And hence, the UN can have so many resolutions against Israel, but not against the Palestinians or other Arab states minimally. Because the holiness of the Holy Land needs some fight back. But when we recognize that that's all it is, it is insubstantial darkness. All we need to do is shed the light of truth. And I hope this truth sheds some light for you in appreciating a deeper understanding of the fight against evil and why evil fights against good.